Tonight, our team on board the USS Eisenhower tonight, right in the Red Sea. The U.S. is there to destroy missiles launched by Iranian-backed militants. And there is news coming in tonight on this front. Britt Clinton on board the USS Eisenhower tonight. Tonight, we're on board the USS Eisenhower in the Red Sea, given inside access on the front lines of the fight against Houthi rebels. And it comes just as U.S. forces launched new attacks. Destroying an anti-cruise ship Houthi missile that was preparing to strike more ships in the region. Another super order taking on for a mission across the Red Sea. There's been at least 47 Houthi missile and drone attacks on ships since mid-November, but just two in the past six days. Evidence, Rear Admiral Mark McGez tells me that the almost daily U.S. airstrikes are working. We have reduced some of their capability. I don't see them being able to sustain the way that we can sustain uh, over the long term. What if they get more and more help from Iran, arms, intelligence? We know that's happening uh, and we continue to monitor it and we continue to interdict when, when we can. A short helicopter right away, the destroyer, the USS Gravely. Every weapon system they have here on the destroyer, this is where they're deployed from. This is where they're fighting the Houthis. Teams here have mere seconds to counter Houthi threats. How quickly do you have to respond here? Uh, it can vary based on the threat, of course, so it can be from seconds to minutes. David, the question now is whether this show of force and the lull in Houthi attacks is enough to convince major shipping companies that it's now safe to sail through this vital route. David. Rick Clement reporting from the Red Sea tonight. Britt, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.